Hi there, I'm going to in this video show how to configure SCADA from scratch basically with no windows on the screen and create a DPS meter, a healing meter, and a threat meter. First we'll start out by creating a damage meter. We need to go into SCADA in the add-ons and we will see a windows section. We are going to type something called damage. Click OK then we're going to add another window called healing click OK and then do another window called threat and click OK if we click OK to close this we will see that we have three windows created alright so this doesn't tell us a whole lot here alright these are pretty crappy looking and whatever so I like to go into the damage via the little wheel um, and I think I'm let me make sure that's obvious to you click the wheel click the damage window and change it to damage and that actually was this window over here see as you can know as you see you can use any of the configure buttons and that gets us our damage for the current fight so I've started to configure that so I'll put it over here and finish configuring it so now that it's showing the damage for the current fight, that is the mode and the segment. The mode is damage, the current fight is the segment. You can change that by simply going in here under the menu and damage, and you can change the segment or the mode to anything you want, but we are interested in damage. And you could change, say, the segment from current fight, like uh, a current boss that you're on in a raid, to the total for the raid at that, you know, all night long. And down here is where it shows the most recent fights that you've done. And you also, by the way, can delete those segments or even keep them for later. But at any rate, we want to make this window look a little bit better because it just looks like garbage. So I go into Configure. I expand SCADA and look at window and we're interested in the damage window because that's what we've started configuring I want to lock that window so it stays in place I'm going to go to the bars and I'm going to choose for my tastes 2002 font size 12 uh, texture I usually use minimalist I don't mess with any of the bar spacing or anything like that I like to know the class colors so I get rid of the class icon because the class color tells me it all and then the title bar always looks like crap so you have to go in and change that to be um, I just make it the same texture or same font 2002 change the size to 12 uh, change the texture to minimalist even though I don't think it really affects it and um, uh, basically I don't make it so that I can change the segment or the mode uh, on these particular windows because that way I don't mess them up by accident or whatever. Um, now that the damage meter is done uh, you can now use your mouse a little bit more safely because if I click on Artemis that will show me the abilities used and then if I click on an ability that will show me the performance of that ability with regard to how much damage hits multi-strike criticals and then you're you're stuck you can't go any deeper so you right click then to get out with Flitwick I will left click on him see that he did chaos bolt and it did a lot of damage so I want to look at what it did I left click chaos bolt and I see that it criticaled it multi struck and then I right click to get out same thing left click in to drill down right click to drill black back out okay that gets us our damage meter now we need to do a healing meter so we will go under the SCADA menu to the healing window and say we want it to show healing and that was the right window that I chose just by circumstance it could have been this one over here and make sure that it's set to the current fight which it is so now we will go ahead and configure that window by going to configure and we will uh, look at our window, we'll collapse damage because we're done with that, collapse threat because we're not ready for it, go to healing, bars, change the font to something I like, 2002, change the size to 12, change the texture to minimalist, 
uh, get rid of the class icon and everything else should be good except for the title bar because it still looks like garbage so we change that to 2002 font size 12 and I don't want to show the segment or the mode and that gets us our healing window so we take that down here and put it alongside that real nice and neat and everything so now that means this has to be our damage window which we would have easily figured out anyway so we go into the SCADA menu or I'm sorry a threat window go to threat choose threat it shows threat for the current fight which is what we'll be wanting to see so then we go in and configure that individual window through the configure we will collapse the healing because we're done with it expand threat click bars change the font to 2002 change the font size to 12 change the texture to minimalist get rid of the class icon go to the title bar change the title bar font to 2002 change the font size to 12 change the texture to minimalist get rid of segment and mode and click OK and that gets us threat for the current fight and we'll put that over here and generally because threat isn't something uh, you're only worried about the top five or something like that you can shrink this window down a little bit to see only when you're getting near the top and push it down here to line up real nice and you've got your everything you basically need to know concerning uh, raid performance you've got damage you got healing and you got threat um, from at least my perspective as a healer a um, couple other things you can do is if you click on this uh, you can lock the window uh, right in place by going to damage um, you, know, you can control any window from the configure button so you just say that it's locked uh, healing lock it because you don't want it to move damage locked already threat lock it so that way these windows can't move they, they can't be moved um, that pretty much is it that's how I use SCADA as a comprehensive DPS healing and threat monitor. I uh, hope you got something out of this video. Thank you for watching.